It is DJ C. Devone, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's go into how to create a Christmas playlist in Spotify. I really enjoy using Spotify. I think it's super easy to have really good charts. So this is my user page. Um, it's my name, Crystal Devone. And what we're going to do is go into the browse and then some of the genres. Spotify already is really, really, really intuitive. They already have a bunch of holiday playlists. I clicked on is Happy Holidays. And you can see all of them here from Christmas classics to acoustics, Christmas magic, etc. I, on the other hand, personally, you know, I like to start a party from a start to finish aspect, meaning I want it to gradually build. So I like to just look at the look at these Christmas classics. Uh, let's see, kind of listen to them, see if you like them, you know, if it's too slow. Okay, do you think your family went like that? Would you enjoy it? Not sure. So what I did was um, I started a couple playlists, but I'll start this from the top where you can just put your, you know, holiday playlist for the family. You can put a cute description, tunes and fun. Yeah, lots of words here, but here we go. So we have this playlist already started and what we can do, you can either follow this list, you can have those already playing and you can just have it going. But me personally, I like to be in charge of how the night's going and how it's gonna be played. So I'm just gonna drag this whole playlist, it's about 40 tracks into this one. So now all of those are here in the playlist that we created. So I figured the classics was a great way to start and then I will edit and take out the ones I like and don't like and keep going. So as we notice here in our browse, we were back there in the happy holidays. Let's see other things that we find more interesting. But for me, I went into the classics and then I may go into, let's see. Let's see what they have here. What is in this Christmas cocktails? All right, looking kind of interesting. I'm gonna just grab some of these. All right, let's let's do it. And if it's and the great thing about Spotify, I'm happy this came up, is it can skip to duplicates because of course some of the playlists may have things that songs or you know things that you may already have in the other playlists, and you can just easily edit those. Very 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 simple. Okay, let's see what else they have here. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Ah, now we're talking to have the holiday genres. I love this because I want to put some soulful Christmas songs in my playlist because my family would really enjoy this. So as things are cooking and getting started, I think they would like some of the classics because no one's really paying attention. Everyone's just kind of getting dressed in the morning and, you know, the cooking's going. But when people are dressed, they may want to, you know, listen to things that are a little bit more on the soulful side, at least in my family. So we can go and you can look at all the playlists that we've kind of already started here. It's super simple. So I won't go into this too much further. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but... We went we have about two playlists we added to our Christmas playlist. Add some country, add some Latins, things like that. And then there's also so some new releases that you may want to add on. So for me, I think I added the Soulful Christmas, but now I think I want to go into some things that people are gonna sing and dance to. This is how I would DJ a party. I may start out with things that some cocktail music. Then you may go into some dinner music. Then you may go into, you know, when people are playing some games and people are coming in, the cocktails started flowing, things like that. So, for instance, um, they have a lot of charts. You can kind of look and see, okay, what's some of the latest music that I want to add on to it? So, here we have, like, Drake, some Starboy, some Black Beetle. You know what? I like these. I want to add these and put these two into my playlist. Skip to duplicates again. I would probably use those until a little bit later. And that, like we said, you can move around and, ed and edit at any time your playlist. So something like Black Beatles and Starboy, I would wait to the end of the Christmas because by that time the teenagers are having fun and you don't want them to get too bored. So you can play around with that. 
but I wanted to add some of the more popular music into that. Let's see what else. More genres and mood. Okay. Let's see. They actually have a party list. This is my favorite one because you can go and see all the different things that you may not even have thought of. You may have favorite songs, but it's really good to see this playlist because they have anything from rock to, you know, a dance party to mixed generations, things like that. So for instance, maybe some throwback jams or you want to, you know, just add more party anthems so people can start dancing and having a good time at Christmas. I think it's very important for us to mix the holiday music with some of the other music because so it doesn't get too monotonous, but also, you know, keeping it flowing. So for instance, let's see what is in, ah, I don't, it's so many good playlists, but I want to go to some throwback jams. Okay. Ignition in the club. And this is, and these are things that I would even play at a corporate party that people may enjoy. So just be careful. Some of them may have some explicit language. So you can actually see that. So if you know that, you know, there are going to be small children in you know, at your family gathering or party, you may just want to take those out. So for instance, let's just, I did a command all or control all, depending on what type of computer you have. And I'm just going to drag and drop that in there. Okay. So now our holiday playlist is in some order. I've been doing this for about what, five minutes or so. Go through, organize it, see how you want it to, you know, the mood to go. Like for instance, I started out with these slower tunes and then it's going into more soulful and going into more of a dance party mode. I think that's really, really, really going to work out for, I know my family in particular. And um, I also like to put maybe some line dances and things like that in there just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. For instance, if they're not in the charts, maybe I'll do something like a, a Cupid shuffle. Let's spell that right. Okay, the song's in there. Super easy. Just literally drop that and just keep adding them in there. So here we go. We have our Christmas playlist. Take about 10 minutes, go through, delete song. Let's see, for instance, if I like a song or if it's maybe too slow or maybe it's a little bit repetitive because, you know, a lot of people sing Silent Night. A lot of people sing White Christmas. A lot of people sing many of the same songs. So what you want to do is just delete the ones that may not be they may be your least favorite so it's it's pretty simple not that i don't like any of these songs but let's see for instance uh let's see that's kind of fun i like that but just for the sake of deleting it just go on and you can remove it from the playlist Keep that going, move stuff around, dragging and dropping, and it's 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 pretty easy. This is if you want to save it to uh, your music. That's a whole nother topic, but there you go. Look, you can move it, let it go. You can shuffle the songs if you want to just keep them all going in different order, which I think is, um, you know, we probably don't want to do that because we want the party to build gradually. And we have a lot of music. So this is what I think we have. Um, let's see, from about start to finish, we have, this is a, this is a lot. We have, we, have, we have some tunes here. So <laughs> anyway, so check it out. See what you have here. And uh, I think that's it. So you have your playlist. You can listen to it from uh, start to finish, and this is how I would create a holiday playlist for your family, your friends, or even your New Year's Eve party. And also, it may be important just to ask people what their favorite song is, and just drag it in the playlist and keep it going so they can kind of please everyone from grandma, your mom, your father, to the little kids, nieces, nephews, and children. I'm DJ C. Devone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DJ C. Devone and at The Perfect E. Happy holidays.